Hi guys, I need to put this on. So today I decided that I want to kind of talk through how I organise my medication. I thought I'd do this video because at the moment we are in a... Well, we all know what's going on in the world. It's a very real, real thing and I know for a lot of us. We are absolutely terrified. <laughs> An actual hairband that makes me look like he's on the corn. So, quick get ready with me ish. I'm getting ready to meet up with me with Becca's driving over here. So, don't worry, we're not breaking any social distancing rules. I'm gonna get hit for that. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about that. Today, I wanna talk about my medication. This is just a quick little talk about why I started medication in the first place. So, I started medication when I was under the Children's Mental Health Team which is called CAM, also known as Child and Adolescent Mental Health Services. I was started on antidepressants first. Um, the first medication I tried was fluoroxetine, which I did not respond well to. And that also sent me into my first ever manix cycle. Cycle? It sent me into my first manix cycle. I will never forget that. When it comes to medication, I am very pro-medication, which a lot of people know. And a lot of people don't like before actually. And I'm constantly getting told, oh, you, should, you shouldn't you should be promoting meds before you promote therapy. If I had had a positive experience with therapy, I'd share it. So um, I don't share it because I don't want to put negative shit out there. That literally ever said publicly that I don't think therapy's good. I just haven't shared any of my own experiences because I don't have any good experiences with, with therapy. So before people come at me for saying that I'm anti-therapy, anti I'm not. I'm not anti-therapy. I'm very pro-therapy and I think before medication's considered, in most cases, you should always consider therapy first. And what people don't know about my life is I have had therapists and counsellors since I was very young and when social services were involved in my life when I was growing up. So for me to say that I have never had a good experience pretty valid because i have i've moved around the country as well so i've i have tried different services different things in different places so for me medication has been a lifesaver which is why i do talk about medication in a very positive way because for me it's been a very positive experience mostly and it has helped me enormously in my recovery like i would not be where i'm at now without medication i take an antidepressant i take benzos and i take sleeping tablets i also take quetiapine which is an antipsychotic for my mental health um, sticking to theme mental health here, I take venlafaxine twice a day, I take quetiapine twice a day, I take clonazepam three times a day, I take zopiclone at night. My medication isn't that long of a list anymore. Then I have my physical health meds, which are bisoprolol, folic acid, sabutamol, sumatriptan, tramadol and gabapentin. Gabapentin. Um, I take a lot more into my physical health because I have arthritis. If you didn't know, I've been diagnosed with arthritis since I was 17. Quite a long time. I'm 22 now, so... Um, So I'm gonna clear my meds because um, Becca's on our way over. So we have 25 milligram of quetiapine, which is my daytime dose, and then I have 150 at night, which I'll I'll record later. I'll film this part like the late part. Later. So I was put on the 25 milligrams in the morning to try and help when I first wake up because it is very rare for me to go at night where I don't have something that's related to my trauma go on and obviously it's triggering for me and it's hard to deal with in the morning. So I take my meds in a way that I know works. So I have 25 of quetiapine in the morning just to kind of slow my thoughts down quick enough. I take 75 milligrams of venlafaxine which is my antidepressant. I've been on the same antidepressant now for three years now. I was briefly on trazodone um, as a secondary antidepressant but because of my other meds I'm at an increased risk for serotonin syndrome so I had to stop the one. I stopped trazodone because I'm already on a lot of sedating medication and that made things worse. So vaccine has been really helpful for me. I take 150 and 75 milligrams. So I take the 75 in the morning and I also take 0.5 of clonazepam three times a day. So I take it morning, evening and night. That's just what I'm prescribed. Obviously you can go on higher doses. I don't need that. It works at what it's on. Um, it's not PRN or anything like that. It is just want to be taken three times a day it's not pure. it is just take as it is i also have to take bisoprolol good old good old beta blocker um um i take the beta blocker um 
for my heart rate. I, my, my migraine isn't too bad today and I've already had my pain meds. So they're the meds that I take in the morning. In the evening I take quetiapine again with a vaccine and I usually have somatriptan because my migraines get worse. When I feel like during the night I, I will wake up in pain if I don't have it. I also tend to take my tramadol at night as well because it makes me really sleepy. So today, today, every day, I have night medication and it is 8pm, <laughs> early, I know, I'm tired and I've had, I've literally had a migraine all day <laughs> and this is probably my medication video where I'm talking about my medication. At night I take 150 of quetiapine, 0.5 of clonazepam, 7.5 of zoficlorin, 150 milligram um, then the vaccine, um, oh sorry. Is that it? Oh yeah, and I take my epizine at the moment as well. Like it's so if you don't like, kick off of me, it's, it, it's prescribed. Uh, I take them a vaccine, which is you know I just said an antidepressant. That's the right one. Brutal. Like you can't skip a dose of it. It's it, it, it's too intense for me. I skip it out. Um, my quick is 150 milligrams. I am prescribed that. Well, I've been prescribed that for over a year now. I'm on a standard release quick diopine and extended release from the vaccine. And then all my other meds are standard release. The only one that's extended is my quick is my from the vaccine. I then have clonazepam, which is 0 0.5 milligrams. Let me just cover up my name. As you can see. I don't know, if it, didn't, if it doesn't show, I'll, um, I'll, I'll show you what the difference is. I take one of these three times a day. Is is enough for me? Like, I don't want to increase it. I've got no intention of increasing it. Yeah, I've been prescribed that for a while. And then Zopiclonin is 7.5. So my pharmacy gave me extra because of, this ho because of the coronavirus. So my GP surgery sent over it extra meds, like an extra prescription. Is that all of them out of there? So, and so two other boxes are for that. Basically what I normally do is I normally keep these because Got the gluten-free gummy bears. We have the girlfriend. Hello. We have fairy lights. I better look awful from that angle. So Life is great. Close. It is great. We love each other. Gluten-free gummy bears, everybody. Woo. They don't know why I'm filming this. Well, yeah. Do you want to Do you feel like I'm high? To be fair, yeah. but beds. Woo. Really not woo, but. I am in my appointment. When I'm in the morning, I, I, I find in which white box is the right one annoys me the hell out of me, so I do keep old boxes. Talking about medication, storage ideas, and little tricks and tips that I've got for the current situation in the world, medications are in short supply. So over the last few years, I've come up with a few different ways of storing my medication. I've made various videos about my medication, I've talked about the different ways that I've stored medication, I've asked you guys for advice on how you store it, some of you said lunch boxes. I'm on too many to be doing lunch boxes. Like, in short, this is my med box. It has got my over the counter stuff in as well. I just want to put that out here now. Some people say, Oh, you shouldn't take this because of this. I'm just like, I wouldn't take it if I thought it was unbeneficial. The medication I take, I take for a reason. Also, you're going to see that I've got quite a lot of white boxes in here. That is because I am on weekly prescriptions. I'll explain another thing in this video. So, I, my prescribed dose of clonazepam is 21 tablets a week. It says one to be taken three times a day. They're just 0 0.5 milligrams. And I've got three boxes of this at the minute. Um, because honestly, well, I, I forget to take my meds quite a lot at the moment. I don't really know what's been going on with that. Like, before my last admission, I was really good at taking my meds, but I just keep forgetting to take them. Like, I, I just, I don't know. I keep forgetting, but. How I have this set up in my box is I have my antidepressant over one side, over the counter stuff back there, physical health stuff, sedating kind of meds like night meds, 
antipsychotic promethazine migraine medication and then i've got like a few spares which i keep in here it's an old plaster thing i just put a label on and i just keep like my spare medication like the like when i have like few left out of box i'll just throw them in here 25 milligram quetiapine two lots of that three lorazepam tablets and for three clonazepam tablets honestly i don't have them there for any other reason they're just there because i don't know what else or else to put on and i don't like having like these everywhere this is just promethazine um I don't have a box for it really i've got a box but it's like one of the thinner ones so i can't um so if we start hello welcome back today i'm doing, going to be showing you how i store my medication one thing that i do want to say i want to show you some previous methods i've used for this so i did use this this is the last thing that i used before i used um it's just a bathroom caddy um right now just, i did also used to use a tub with dividers in which i now use for scrapbooking i also used to use a metal tray thing <laughs> my good old trusty green box <laughs> So, on the down light, let me turn my light on. Not in my face. So, yeah, that's my medication box. So, in the back corner over there, my over the counter stuff, here is my antidepressants. And three boxes there are my physical health meds. Still is my migraine medication, antipsychotic. My other antipsychotic box is on my bed at the moment. Promethazine, Benzo corner. Sleeping tablets, bisoprolol, inhalers, and at the back there, my folic acid. So that's kind of the little where I store things. This little black tin right here is what I use to store spare medications in. So if you guys have got any questions about my medication or things I do or things that I've shown in the video, feel free to ask. Just to quickly say, the medication I take now, it's taken me a very long time to get to the point that I'm at now where I'm comfortable with what I'm taking and for the most part I think it helps. I'm actually going to see my GP today, which is the day I'm recording this, um, about my medication, um, but that's for like a review thing. I'm seeing a psychiatrist in May and that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching. If you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button as always because it would mean a lot. And I'll see you guys soon in the new video.